Everyone tells you that in order to break into cloud, you need to go back to college and get a degree and end up getting yourself into hundreds of thousands of dollars worth of debt. If you're over 30, that's probably what you've been accustomed to. You know, go to college, graduate, and then get a job, even work your way up the ladder, right? Now, maybe that's how you got your first job. And now you're looking at getting into a new career in cloud. And your first instinct has been probably to default back to what you know. But the truth is, heading into 2026 and beyond, that approach is outdated. Hi. I'm Suleiman and having worked in tech for more than a decade and helping over 700 people break into cloud through my academy, I've learned that there are five boring AWS certifications, ones that most people are still overlooking, which will help you break into six-figure cloud roles much faster than any fancy computer science degree. These five cover the fundamentals that every cloud team needs, and I'll break down exactly what they are, how they work, and why they will help you to get rich. Starting with number one, the AWS Cloud Practitioner. This is the most foundational AWS certification and it covers the basics. And the problem is most people skip this entirely because they see it as something that's too easy or not flashy enough. And that's a mistake and here is why. Firstly, it teaches you the business language of the cloud. If you've never worked in this role, then learning what the shared responsibility model or the operational expenditure versus capital expenditure is valuable. It's not necessarily about the technical side of things, but it's just as important because you learn the business side of cloud engineering very early on. Secondly, it helps you to understand the why before you dive into the how. Why do companies adopt the cloud? It's not because EC2 is interesting, it's because they need to reduce infrastructure costs and scale operations efficiently. When you're starting out, it's important to lay down the correct foundations. You can't build a house on a broken foundation. Thirdly, Practically speaking, and this is a bonus of getting multiple AWS certifications, when you pass this exam, you receive a 50% discount for your next AWS exam. And here is what you will learn. Why organizations migrate to cloud infrastructure, how AWS pricing models work and why they matter, core security principles that apply across all services, the fundamental service categories and their use cases. With focus study, you can pass this exam in one to two weeks and it's pretty straightforward. Number two, the Solutions Architect Associate Certification. And this is AWS's most popular certification. Some people, believe it or not, dismiss it because they think it can't be something that's valuable or help me stand out if everyone has it. But here is why that belief is a mistake, because this certification starts to change how you think about AWS and its services. Before this certification, you think in individual services. I need storage, so I use S3. I need compute, so I'll use EC2. After this certification, you start to think in more complete systems. I need to build a solution that handles file uploads from thousands of users, processes them, stores them securely, and maintains costs under $500 monthly. How do I architect that? The exam presents realistic scenarios that you would face as a cloud engineer. For example, a startup needs to handle unpredictable traffic spikes during product launches without overspending. What's the optimal approach? As I like to say, there are no single correct answers. It's just more about the trade-offs. And being a cloud engineer is is about building a solution that fits the client's budget, team expertise, non-functional requirements, and growth projections. So everything is unique, but there are of course principles that apply across the board. In terms of the exam, you'll be covering how to design architectures that are secure, i.e. how do you protect systems and data, resilience, so what happens when components fail, high performing, how do you maintain speed on the load, and cost optimized, how do you avoid wasting money? These are fundamental questions that matter to businesses when they're looking to migrate to the cloud from on-prem or optimize the existing cloud setups. To pass this exam, plan for three to four weeks of focused preparation. With your cloud practitioner discount, the cost of this certification drops to just $75. It's not fancy, but it gets results. And if you're looking to fast track your results and get AWS certified faster without doing more work, then you're in the right place because most people haven't even realized that this exists. Now, let me explain. When I studied for my AWS certifications, I found myself wasting so much time and studying inefficiently. I had to watch courses on YouTube and then take notes in Notion. I would then use these notes and then jump on another platform to take notes. But that's not enough because you have to then buy mock exams to make sure your exam ready. And even then you don't really know if you're fully ready, you're still kind of guessing. I was constantly switching between three, four, five, even six different tools to get certified. And despite this, my learning wasn't even personalized to me. If I already knew how E2 and S3 worked, I kept seeing those questions in my mock exams and even the learning materials. Which is why over the last two years, me and my engineering team have been deep in the trenches building a brand new certification platform for AWS certifications. StudyTech AI. You get certified in just four weeks and not six months. StudyTech AI is
is the only platform in the world that identifies what you already know and focuses your time exclusively on your knowledge gaps. The exact system that allowed me to get my AWS Solution Architect professional certification in just three weeks. You can take notes, spin up flashcards in just one click, get unlimited mock exams without having to pay for each one individually, and then you also get to take advantage of AI-powered learning. So you only focus on your weak areas. And if that wasn't enough, and we've also added a daily learning loop, which means all you have to do is log in and our AI will set out exactly what you need to learn which topics for that exact day in order to pass your exam. So there's literally no more second guessing. You just show up, you learn, and you get certified. And just take a look at all of my students that are getting AWS certifications right now. And by the way, you also will get access to our school community where I host weekly calls all about certifications and cloud as well. So if you want to get AWS certified without wasting months and constantly be learning and updating your skill set, then check out StudyTech AI. There's a link in the description with a special launch discount available right now. Cool. Let's talk about number three, the certified AWS best machine learning engineer. This is the certification that most people don't even know exists, and that's a problem because AI and machine learning are becoming part of every cloud engineering role, whether you like it or not. Now, here is the reality. Companies are scrambling to figure out how to use AI. They have so much data sitting in the cloud that they want to use it for predictions, recommendations, automations, but they don't know how. The AWS Machine Learning Associate Certification will test your knowledge on how to build and deploy machine learning models on AWS. It covers things like data engineering for machine learning. So how do you prepare data for machine learning workflows? How do you build pipelines that feed machine learning models? Model building, so using services like Amazon SageMaker to trade and test the models, deployment, so how do you take a model and actually put it into production where real users can actually interact with it? Monitoring and optimizations. So how do you know if your model is working? How do you improve it over time? Now, I know what you're thinking. This sounds really complex. And sure, it's not going to be easy, but that also means it will help you stand out in the job market. Most people trying to break into cloud don't understand machine learning and AI. So if you can, then you immediately become more valuable. Now, the exam costs $150 or $75 with your discount. Plan for about six to eight weeks of study, and then you'll be good to go. Number four, the AWS Security Speciality Certification. The truth is, security is probably the most overlooked side of cloud and tech in general. Security isn't seen as glamorous, but here is what makes security valuable organizations are genuinely afraid of getting it wrong. The average cost of a breach is just under $5 million. And that's not accounting for the loss in customer trust and negative press. This creates massive demand for professionals who understand cloud security. This certification is the most challenging of the ones that we've gone over so far. And it covers the following identity and access management. So controlling who can access what resources, data protection, so encryption strategies and key management, infrastructure security, so network isolation and system hardening, incident and response, so how to handle security security events effectively, compliance, so meeting regulatory requirements like HIPAA, GDPR, SOC 2. These topics aren't the most exciting on paper, but they are absolutely critical. And where people are overlooking security, it creates a unique opportunity for those who position themselves as security first engineers. Now, in terms of time, this certification requires deeper specialized knowledge. So I would set aside at least 12 weeks and the exam costs $300. So it's not the cheapest by all accounts, but very few people actually hold this one. So making it super valuable. And I think it's worth mentioning no one gets into the cloud because they're passionate about IAM policies and encryption key management. I mean, let's be real, right? The tools are just a means to an end, right? But what matters is what this career path can actually unlock for your life. More opportunities, the ability to make more money, provide for your family. That's what we're all doing this for, right? That's why we're even in this rabbit hole of getting AWS certification because we want to unlock a new career for us, new opportunity. And I've been there myself and I had to quit my job as a software engineer more than five years ago because I felt trapped and I didn't feel like I had a future. So I quit and within three months, I got multiple job offers for cloud engineering roles and I took one of them and just doubled my salary. And since then, I've built my own consultancy where we help companies scale and secure their systems on AWS. And I've helped more than 700 students learn cloud with my first principles blueprint like Mac, who's now working at AWS and earning 165K a year. Or LD Mishra, who was laid off as an engineer at IBM, but with my mentorship and help, he was able to master cloud engineering and land a brand new role as a systems engineer within a few months of being laid off. There's so many more, right? There's Alex, Rincon, Silas, Jay, and they've been landing jobs. So if you're getting AWS certifications, chances are you're looking to make the switch to the cloud. And unfortunately, the truth is certifications aren't enough. And most people realize this the hard way, but they eventually get my help. And then they follow my proven system, which gets the results. So if that sounds interesting at all, then just click the link in the description, book a call with my team if you're serious about making the switch. Number five, the AWS Solutions Architect Professional Certification. This is a certification that I hold and is definitely one that gives you the most bang for your buck. 
Let me give you an example. A financial services company needs to migrate their entire data center to AWS. They have legacy applications, strict compliance requirements, and cannot tolerate downtime. Design a complete migration strategy. Now, there's no simple answer. There's no tutorial for this. You need a genuine understanding of the following. Migration strategies, hybrid cloud architecture, high availability, disaster recovery, advanced networking, cost optimization. And by the way, if those were buzzwords or you didn't understand them, then obviously that's expected because this is a professional certification and you can eventually build up to getting it. Now, of course, as I've mentioned throughout, you have to still do the building and get your hands dirty, but at least this certification exposes you to a new way of thinking. In terms of the exam, it is three hours long with complex scenario questions. The cost is $300 and plan for at least eight to 12 weeks of serious preparation. With this certification or the security specialty, you'll definitely pass HR filters and recruiters will call you back. With that said, you now have five boring AWS certifications that will significantly impact your career and your potential and your income. When compared to a four-year degree costing over $100,000 that doesn't prove that you can jump into a role and survive, especially when you consider how brutal the job market is right now for graduates, you're far better off getting certifications and most importantly, building hands-on projects to prove to employers that you can do the work. And I should mention, AWS just released a brand new certification, the Generative AI Developer Professional. It's focused specifically on building production grade Gen AI applications using services like Amazon Bedrock. And if you're interested in the Gen AI side of things, that's worth looking into as well. Because what matters is what companies actually need and willing to pay for, not just fancy computer science degrees. As always, I'm rooting for you. Good luck.